a little bit more in-depth description about how the cooling system works on these older Polaris four-wheelers. So there's a few different things that work for the cooling system on this with the fan and the thermal switch and the light. So right here on the side of the cylinder, this is a, the driver's side, the left side of the cylinder, there's a plug in there with a sensor you're wiring that goes to it and then it goes up to the fuse box up there. That All that does is control the light on the dash. That's all that does. That light is going to be this far left light, I believe, on these. I don't have the cover over it, it broke off. But that will be, if that light is illuminated, that means that it's getting hot above 212 degrees, I believe. So you have your coolant temp sensor there for the indicator light. And then you move up front and you have the fan right there. And then if you look down in here, down in there on the back side of the radiator, these two red wires, those are for the thermal switch for the fan. So basically what happens is the coolant gets hot, either the thermostat's st stuck or there's no thermostat in it. Coolant gets hot, throws this sensor or trips this sensor because basically it's just a contact switch in there. It'll get hot, it'll contact, and then it'll turn the power on to the fan. Well, the only problem is these go bad and they don't work. So they, so it'll say it's overheating when it's really not. And look at the back side of the fan. Right there, that little red spot. That's the wiring harness to the back of the fan. But anyways, what you have to do, a lot of guys will just not have the fan working at all. I prefer to have it working. So basically what you're going to have to do is I have mine hardwired into the key. So as soon as the key turns on, the fan, the fan's on. You can see it running. You're gonna have to wire it into your ignition switch and then you're gonna have to wire it into the fuse panel. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the one line, the power line that goes from the, because there's a power and a ground on the fan. What you're gonna have to do, take the power line, you'll probably have to splice it, put another two foot section of wire on there, um, butt connect those wires together, maybe put some heat shrink over it and seal it up so it doesn't get all wet you're going to hook that up to the key on key off part of the circuit board there should be about eight or ten terminals that you can actually hook wires to that are key on key off power you're going to hook the power line from the fan to that key on key off switch if you have a four wire switch a key switch ignition ignition switch it should be the red and white wire but every kind of aftermarket ignition is different i'm not sure about an oe because this does not have a oe ignition switch it's aftermarket with four wires i believe the oe only have three wires that go to them but you guys might have to correct me if i'm wrong but anyways take the power wire off the back of the fan run it up to the circuit board run the grounds to the fan and the thermal switch together, you know, they kind of go to the same area. And then you can basically just leave that other wire off the thermal switch. You can cap it off. You can put a, a wire nut on the end of it. You can cut it off. You can do whatever you want to it. As far as that, if you don't want that to turn the light on, you know, you can unplug it, um, leave the sensor in there, obviously, because you'll have to plug that hole into the side of the cylinder wall because that's where all the water jackets are. Um, when you do, there we go. If you wanted to, you could even unhook those two wires off the back of that plug. This is an aftermarket radio. It's like a cheap Amazon radiator that I got. It did have a plastic plug in it already but I put the sensor in just to see if I could get it to work, but that sensor did not work. I will throw a picture of a circuit board up there with the terminals that you need to connect those wires to for the key on, key off power. Thanks.